Welcome to Five Pints In, the show where we're literally five pints in. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. So we've just ended this weird and wacky season, um, and it didn't exactly go the way we wanted it for cer- a certain team, you know, Bournemouth. But, you know, West Ham was safe, and somehow they pulled it out uh, in the last few weeks. So it's sort of bittersweet for you, and, and for us, really, isn't it? Yeah, very sad, mate. You know, you, you got to look back, and I was disappointed. Personally, I know the West Ham players, the West Ham fans won't be feeling like this, but personally for me, I was desperate, desperate for Bournemouth to, to stay up, so I was disappointed with the West Ham performance, really. It was empty. You know, I was a bit, a bit hollow. When I look, you know, there was no real agency about them. I was desperate for Villa to go down as well. Yeah, yeah. Jordan, for many reasons. Jordan was but, saying during the game that if West Ham had something to play for, you know, you know, the, you almost not not from a West Ham perspective, for a Bournemouth perspective, you almost wanted West Ham to still be fighting for something. But I mean, yeah, I you, wanted them to start like they started against Watford. Yeah. Now, if you think about it, when you when you're safe, don't you go out with more freedom? Don't you go out with more attack mind? You know, don't don't you just go out and, and want to finish on on a high? <clears throat> and they look like they'd already finished. And it, it, it really, I know it's selfish, but it really disappointed me the, the performances of some. He brought uh, Antonio and Bowen off for half time. Half time, yeah. yeah. And, and you know, I mean, whether it was because Antonio had been booked, and, and I know he got away with a trip not long after that, and whether he was thinking about doesn't need a suspension at the beginning of the next season. Yeah. But but <clears throat> it just seemed to me, you know, there was no. There was no fight and no fire. It was, it was not a lot of nothing football. I, I mean, I must admit, look, I've I've given enough chances. I know. Look, I said about Suchak, I didn't really see where he fitted in. He, he managed to bang a couple of goals, and I still don't see the footballer in him. To be honest with you, but four and I, I don't, I don't get it. It's like he, yeah. he hasn't got a position. He's playing on the left of three behind the front man. He doesn't attack. Doesn't really get the ball and move it about. Doesn't go by people. I, I just don't understand what he what he sees in him. You know, even to the extent Lanzini comes on, has a free kick, maybe two three yards outside the box, has a chance to, you know, make a name for himself again. And and there's just no conviction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it was Haller had a, had a free header, a, a rusty header. Like you could tell, he's either not bothered or he's been away for too long or out for too long or not got enough football since he's come back from his injury but you know there was there was nothing but Fabianski I mean somebody said to me oh the ball did move a lot and that happened to be him didn't it that friggin arsehole yeah and, and Fabianski's had an absolute friggin nightmare for the goal it's middle of the goal it's actually lower than head height and he's managed to dive underneath it on yeah. the wrong way yeah, well, and the wrong way for somebody who's so solid normally a keeper who's so solid and did you notice you know, with, with his goal, he couldn't stop talking about him. The cameras are on him all the time, Grealish. Yeah. Okay. He got more of the ball at West Ham than he's I've ever seen him get, to be honest with you. Yeah. And that's that's a slight against West Ham, to be honest with you. Because yeah. he looked like he could have done what he wanted. He looked yeah. like he had all the time in the world because there was no conviction. Conviction. And um, and look, at the end of the day, not one of the comment on the commentators they must have showed Yarmolenko's goal eight times. Not one of them said it came off him. Yeah. Not once did they say it was. The, they said, "Oh, uh, Rayner with his big frame. Maybe ten years ago, he might have got it." Yeah. They never once mentioned his name that it came off him, even though the camera went to him after it and yeah. stayed on. I think it was Andy Townsend that, that was on, and, and whoever the commentator was, the English other English lad on on the American channels. But not once. It's it's like it's like well, he, he's the topic of the moment. We can't say nothing bad, you know. It does my head in. Yeah. It really does. But, but Bournemouth went out and did... Look, you can, you can look at it from two ways. They've gone out and did everything they needed to do, right? I, I figured they, they may be good enough to get a, you know, win by one goal. I was hoping to win by one goal. I, I, I thought they could do it. I was on, like I said, on the last podcast, I was on Radio Song. I said, I fancied him to win by one goal. West Ham to beat Villa should be a gimme. And Arsenal to beat Watford should be a gimme. But you never, <coughs> you never know what West Ham's team is going to turn up. You yeah. never know what Everton team was going to turn up because they're all the same. They're all like hit and miss, in and out, whatever. You know, you didn't know what Arsenal team was going to 
but they went 3-1 up Bournemouth went a goal up and then I just Antonio had a great chance in the first half through one on one with the keeper head down and slices it wide it would have changed the whole thing mm-hmm. and I, I'm just so gutted I really am I, I mean but, but what you've got to say is Bournemouth didn't do it over the season so you know although, although the anger of right now and the moment you've got to look back and say Newcastle at home even, even since lockdown <laughs> since the restart Newcastle at home Southampton at home you know their yeah. best performances have been against against the bigger the big team. teams yeah so okay you can if you, if you say them six points that they probably looked at and thought yeah we'll beat Newcastle at home should beat Southampton at home and then they didn't then you beat Leicester at home which you didn't expect makes up for one of them yeah the Tottenham where they were a little bit unlucky should have won yeah but they'd already put themselves in that position and I, I just felt for the like I mean there was a couple of performances that were it was so bad really yeah you know what I mean they went out and fought at Old Trafford you know they fought at Anfield they you know like I said they fought against Tottenham and they went to the Etihad and should have won yeah and, you or, know, or they should have got a point they should it's fine lines isn't it it's yeah. just fine lines well, and it's defining moments in games the funny thing is out of those three last games that you know that they depended on it, their game against Everton was probably the most unlikely result to go their way and they seem to have that nailed down at half time really yeah. you know when they went 2-1 up so it, it really uh, you know Ar- Watford almost came back against Arsenal but you know you expect Arsenal to beat Watford West Ham it's I said this in the last episode you know they they were safe there's nothing to fight for I didn't expect them to come out guns blazing and w- it's funny because watching it because obviously you know we're especially you but we're in a weird situation where you know we want certain teams to do well where most you know West Ham fans won't really care what what Bournemouth do so and neither do the West Ham players they just know they're safe but, no, but they, sh- they should care about their own teams performance. they should so yeah of course they will they won't let it go you know what because there's got to be a lot of changes next season yeah, yeah. I mean it's got to be everyone's yeah. got to think about at least, at least five of them players won't start next season you can, yeah. you can pick five. You can pick five out of maybe seven, eight. Won't start next season. I yeah. guarantee. You know, but um, it's just just to go out like that. Like I said, Bournemouth shot themselves in the foot. I mean, I've never got to accept it and get on with it. I, I've never seen a team that I've been like so confident that, that are going to shoot straight back up. Yeah. Yeah. It's just hard yeah. though because the championships a sticky place, isn't it? It's yeah, but I mean. The, if you like, I think they. Can, I think they're a Premier League team, and if you're a Premier League team, you can go and dominate the championship. Mm-hmm. And it's been proven before. And you know, I, I, I honestly haven't seen a team that. Have it depends who stays, though, mate. Like we said, it depends who stays. But I think, the they, I think they, I think they all the, were. The, I think it's such a solid club. Most that, of the ones who left, most of the ones with the contracts expiring, Eddie Howe wasn't playing them anyway. Club. So they were. Yeah. They already hadn't been playing since the lockdown. Like, I think the whole shit with Brian Fraser and all that obviously had an adverse effect on Bournemouth's season. I mean, you can't just blame it on one person in one situation. You know what? It almost, it almost made me want it to have been <clears throat> West Ham Villa because we talked about could that be the, the game where that winner stays up? Mm-hmm. It almost makes me think I would have rather it been like that. Yeah. Because I know they would have come out differently. Yeah. I know they would have come out and trounced Villa if that was the case. Yeah, but yeah. I, th- I think it would have been just as nervy for you, if not more nervy for oh, you. Oh, no, big you time, know? yeah. Big time, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but I'm, I mean... I'm glad. I'm glad I'm glad of the, the win against Watford. They're so, so happy. Knew that was it. They didn't even need the point at Old Trafford. But, but to go to Old Trafford and get it was, you know, it was brilliant. Yeah. And, and, and at that stage and at that time, I knew it was going to be about Bournemouth in the last game. So, it's just, I'm, I'm just gutted for them. That, that's all, you know. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm selfishly gutted because... In March, when I was supposed to go to the game, the Palace game, it would have been my first time going back there. And now, if I go back next season, it's going to be to watch the Championship game. Which, after them spending, what was it, five or six seasons? Five. In the six or five. Five. Yeah. All right. Uh, five or six, so we've got five and a six. Pro- probably five. five. So yeah, either I, I either trust or, you know. So today. You know, the times I, get, I do get home, I'm, I'm either up north or I'm in London. So, you know, it would have been my first opportunity. And it was like it was meant to be, you know? Yeah. No, you look back and you think, "Oh, that's that's why it happened." I think they'll be back up. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'll still go. I'll still, it'll still be the same. It'll be the same for me going and seeing everybody, but it won't be the same 
going to see and playing in the championship. Ho- hopefully, hopefully this is what they needed to remain as one of those Premier League clubs that stay in there for 10 plus years where they needed to because they, they were riding the high a little bit when they came in. Yeah. They had a great look, first couple of seasons and then... Well, look, at least at least if they do come back, they'll know what they're going into. Exactly. My point is... They'll be able to plan. Yeah. They won't be one of them teams that comes in. Yeah. They know yeah. they can beat the big teams. Well, look clearly. at... Look at look, Watford are a Premier League team as well. I, I think agree. we can agree on that. Yeah, yeah. You know, Villa, I could say, is a championship team, right? But it just goes to show that once you slip past that 12th and 13th place, it's a very, it's like quicksand, you know? I mean, anyone can get sucked into that bottom three. I mean, I think yeah. Norwich were always going down. Except, I mean, Pookie had a, had a great start to the season, you know, and he looked Two, like he could have kept yeah. Norwich up, and then he fell off, you he know? He was going the last 14 or something, did he? Yeah, something crazy like that. But this you is. Can see, you can see with that one on one, what he had with Edison. He... Y- yeah. He it, said it straight at him. Exactly, he, yeah. yeah, he didn't have the didn't confidence. Look confident. Yeah. I'll tell you what, he looked, he, he looked faster than I thought. All the ports isn't as quick as I thought. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it was noticeable. noticeable yeah. Wasn't it? it was, now, yeah. I hope it's him not quicker. <clears throat> yeah. No sport that isn't that quick, yeah. you know? What, what do you think about the, the lineup, the City line? But I was hoping David Silva would get another last goal before he left. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, I think Tim Krul pulled one out the out the fire, didn't he? He turned and put one in the bottom corner, and Krul tipped it. Down yeah, the yeah, he did. I mean, that's the thing with City. I mean, they can win five nil. It could be five different players. I mean, this time De Bruyne yeah. got two. You know, it's just goals from all over the place, really. You, you know, it was sad for me. What's it was that? really sad. I mean, I watched the West Ham game again today because I was sort of thinking I was disappointed with them. I mean, no, I watched the game in the pub and. Yeah, obviously looking at different screens I thought I'll watch the whole game just to see if I was right about that, that performance and I watched it again today and I was, still it was, it was no different you know Yeah. But, but the City thing okay in a certain sense you feel for Liverpool celebrating the championship with nobody there yeah no fans but it was but, even harder for me to watch David Silva yeah come off the pitch get applauded by everybody there on the pitch all yeah. the team and the opposition and yet there was no crowd to no see crowd him. yeah I know he'll come back when the crowds are back and he'll come back and he'll walk out there and it'll be un- unbelievable. Yeah. But it was, it felt for me because he looked like he was choking up. It, yeah. It was almost anticlimactic, I, wasn't it? It was. I, I remember I remember when Howard Kendall came and I was I, I was playing against it was Norwich actually. I was playing against Norwich. I knew that the deal had stalled going to West Ham. So the pressure he'd had off the fans, he had to play me. And I thought that if I played well Maybe the deal wouldn't happen and he'd want to keep me. And we ended up beating Norwich 1 0 and I played well. And the game ended and I just knew. I knew I wasn't coming back, you know? Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't leave the pitch. I was crying my eyes out. I was the city fan stayed, they were singing my name. There was banners with don't go and all this, you know, and it was uh it took me 10, 15 minutes to get off the pitch. I was the last one. Yeah. And I couldn't I just didn't want to leave. And Howard was waiting for me on the touchline. He waited the whole time, and he hooked me like you know. And thought maybe things will be different. Maybe it's different. I went in the next day, and I went. Then he changed. He went no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get out. See you later. <laughs> I mean, it's just weird. Um, David Silver didn't have a testimonial, right? I don't get yeah, 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 he did. Um... Um, no, this will be his tenth year. It'll be. He'll come no. back and have a game about. Yeah. He'll come back and have a game. Has he? Has he played in testimony? Yeah. He oh, he played, played in yeah, companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't it a game with the company or was it? It was company's testimonial. Yeah, I don't think company really played much. I thought he was somewhat no, he injured. Didn't. He didn't play much, no. Yeah. He was injured. So here's a good but question then. Come back and have a testimonial about it. Yeah. Here's a good question then. Who's the bigger loss? And I mean, we've got a bit of context with company going but company or David Silver who will be slash I think company is the biggest loss because we, we find it hard to fill that position I mean you got you got a few in that group if Aguero's out soon yeah Yaya Torre left yeah you know I feel, feel like that core group it's like you could stick them all together and ask the same it question it doesn't mean I feel he was the better player it's just I feel he's the bigger loss yeah because we find it harder to fill that gap you know do you think I, well, at the time, certainly, because he kind of created that. Well, he, in my opinion, he was a left foot in the Esther. You know, who's that? We're still talking about David Silver. He was right? saying company. Yeah, but yeah, oh yeah. yeah, okay. 
Yeah, um, I'm just saying there. It was uh, probably company was. The oh, you're saying line. with the lack of defenders, yeah. Yeah, because we didn't fill the centre back. And no one, did we? we didn't fill yeah. the hole. Yeah, I mean, so, David Silva's been able to sort of, you know, groom Foden and um, even Bernardo, Bernardo Silva, Silva, you know, yeah. like so. There's yeah. there's two players looking like hungry for that spot. Whereas when company left, there was, you know, I mean, Otamendi's all. He, you know, I, 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 he's had he's had good seasons here and there. His seventeen eighteen season was I good. Wouldn't, I wouldn't say a whole season. He's been, you know, he's been good for us, but I just think he's done. Um, I, you know, and I and I, I'm really just holding on to the hope of John Stones, but it's. But do you think? Do you think he's going to play Garcia against Madrid, or do you think he'll bring Stones back for that? See what I said in when I when I said my lineup against Real Madrid, I said it would have been. Um, L- Laporte and Fernandinho at the back. Mm. Or did I say Artemendi? I think you said Artemendi. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put. <laughs> look, I wouldn't put Fernandinho it, at the back. It, it definitely wouldn't be Stones, right? So I'm. I'm. Either, I would either play. I would no, no. I said Artemendi, and I would play Fernandinho in the number six role, right? And I, I think sta- you said Fernandinho or Artemendi or Stones. Yeah, or, or Garcia. Garcia. No, no, no. Here's the thing. I definitely didn't say Garcia. I definitely would not play Garcia against Real Madrid. But I also did say whatever team he put out, because you said Laporte wouldn't play against Norwich. You said he was going to rest him. And I said, yeah. I said whoever he plays next to Laporte is going to play against Real Madrid. And he started Garcia, didn't he? So I, I, I I'm contradicting Garcia. myself. I, I, I thought he'd rest him and give two a go, and, and the better one would pop. Yeah, but, but I think he's more about finding out who works better with Laporte. You know, I mean, Laporte's not exactly had a full season. He's not exactly worn out, is he? So, <laughs> um, <laughs> he missed it. <laughs> he missed it, Con. He's going with his hands again. Yeah, um, I've got the, the imaginary pitch in front of me. But I just, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't play. I wouldn't. I, like, I like Garcia, and I think he's got a lot of room to grow. But we need another. For, I mean, first of all, we need another centre-back. To We need a top-tier centre-back yeah. for any I'm chance. For the Real Madrid game, no, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm just saying, if Garcia is not good enough, in my eyes, to be the starting centre-back next season, which I don't think he is, then he's definitely not good enough to all start right, against well, Real Madrid I mean, in, the, think in about the Champions it. League. Do you still think you're going to have 60-plus percent? Uh, possession against Madrid. Yeah, I mean probably not. Yeah. No, I do. I, I think, do. I think we'll so, have the yeah. lion's share, but I, I don't know if it's going to be sixty plus percent. I mean that's not far from equal, you know. I'm yeah. No, it's normally City's what seventy six percent. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously average, yeah. yeah. So I think if you have Garcia, who does he have to mark? If Hazard's not been doing well. He has to mark Benzema. Hazard. You know. Is yeah. that why and you then they. Are you, are you going with the other team? Oh no, no, I, no! I hate Real Madrid. No, it's so De Bruyne. Much. It's yeah. yeah. I know it says Hazard on the back, but it's uh, it's for De Bruyne, isn't it? No, I, I was actually going to wear this if England played Chel- if England played uh, Belgium in the final, but that's, so so, that's, a, that's another so, discussion. So game, I didn't want Sterling and all those people winning the World Cup. It the game been at the so tainted. The game at the Bernabeu, City had fifty-two percent possession. I think it'll be similar to that. I don't think Madrid. That's, are away, gonna, that's away as well. Yeah, but it does, it that's usually the matter about. for City. I think. I, I bet you. I, I bet you if you go. Yeah. I bet you if you um, look at any stats, I bet you only Barca, maybe Bayern Munich once yeah. have had more than fifty-two percent possession at the burn, at the at the, the Bernabeu. Probably. I I just I I just think Pep has he obviously showed a respect for Real Madrid that he doesn't show. Against any other Premier League I, team, well, it's always been its rivalry. Whether he was playing or yeah, or managing, so Barcelona, so he so. adapts his game. You know, it like was I think probably he, his biggest rival when he was at Bayern Munich as well. Yeah, yeah. in a weird way. Well, that's yeah. they also won the Champions League what three times in a row when Pep yeah. was there uh, around. Real Madrid Pep did, was, uh, yeah, yeah, which is one of the worst yeah, Real Madrid they, teams ever. Another thing ever, as well, I've another thing. Well. I mean, on top of another five goals for Edison. Yeah, Golden Glove. Golden Glove. Again. 16 clean sheets. 16, Pope had 15, and, and obviously you can see. I think we also lost, what was it, nine games? Um, Ten games? Nine games? Ten? I think it was... That City loss? Yeah. In a season where we lose that many games, he still wins yeah. the gold. Nine, gold nine games, yeah. 16 clean sheets. Yeah. So it was either bad or really good. Yeah. There was no sort of invitation. No, Allison won it last season, right? What's that? Allison won it last season. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think it was sixteen, was it? 
Was this the first? I don't think so. Was this the first season Edison won the Golden Glove? That's what I was asking. Yeah, I'm pretty I, sure I know C- City have the most. They've got five Golden Gloves. He's been there two years. He's been there three. Three, and who was? It was Bravo, Bravo before. Bravo wasn't it? didn't win a Golden Glove. No. Okay, I, I'm I'm sure Joe Hart's won a Golden Glove. Probably, yeah. I I don't know, but I mean the thing I saw something online the other day. There was um on one of the City pages they were asking which two games summed up our season and someone put it perfectly the 8-0 against Southampton and then the the, against Watford and then the 1-0 loss against Southampton it was like which two games summed up City's season you know it was like well I mean I think instead of the 8-0 you could throw the 4-0 in against Liverpool because it should have been more Yeah, and you outclassed the team that won the league even though you lost you know I just think the sheer number of goals, though. I mean, we sc- I- we scored the most goals. That so the top three highest scoring seasons are held by Man City, you know. Yeah. It's just it, it, I think again, it's just that hole at centre back. I mean, Laporte can't do it all. I think everyone's struggling with centre backs. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it weird though? We 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 get the most goals than anyone and the most clean sheets, but still, so many points behind the, the winners. Yeah, and I think lose nine games. the winners, the winners have the best defense they have one of the best left backs in the world one of the best right backs in the world the best center back in the world and then average whoever but he, fills but in whether so, you mate. You got, we more Gomez a, yeah yeah we and so and they supposedly goalie, is it? they supposedly have the best the best keeper in the world but i mean edison's better than allison no yeah if you if you think about know. some of liverpool for performances though they did scrape some i mean they they had luck didn't they i don't want to go back on this whole I mean, obviously they had, they 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 deserve they, it. If they wouldn't last, if they wouldn't last season, I would I would been. I would hey, look, been okay if it was only it. a few points, George, you, you could say that. But when it's how many did it finish up? 18. Yeah, but I mean, during Christmas, 21. During Christmas, they was they it, must have it, scraped no, eighteen. Eighteen, or they didn't get the record. They didn't beat that. the record. No, in yeah, second place, yeah. But eighteen points, you can't really point to a couple of games, can you? It's, no, but I just think it was I, I it think, was meant to yeah. be for them. Like it was almost yeah, it was like. Early on. Early on, it happened like that. Yeah. I mean, you, you yeah, can in okay. certain situations where, I mean, look around Christmas where Liverpool, I think, scraped like three or four games that they shouldn't yeah. have. And, I mean, what's that, 12 points? So, you uh, know. 18. Oh, three wait, or four, ga- four games, 12 yeah. points. Yeah. Um, yeah. 12 points they don't have, and now they're not as lackadaisical with how they can play because there's such a yeah. huge margin I mean, look, above City you know? yeah look it just I mean I'm biased but the way City play I mean you I'm also glad I mean in a weird way I'm glad we're not it's not like we're Serie A where Juventus are just winning it every single season it's the Premier League for a reason you know there's, there's a lot know, of yeah. competition it's I think right now I think every team in the Premier League is terrible except for City and Liverpool yeah but at least you've got two you know, like in in the Italian right, league, yeah, there's literally I, no now, other. Now we're now we're La Liga. You know, Leicester don't yeah. look like they'll ever win it again. Chelsea are terrible. Spurs are but terrible. But look, look at the signings. Look United at the signings Chelsea have terrible. made. Terrible. Yeah, my, I mean, look I at think, this. I think Brendan Rodgers will get Leicester competing in a couple of years, mate. Yeah, th- not to win the title again, though. No. Well, probably not. But you know, they'll be competing with Chelsea, United. The, I mean, they were. Yeah, yeah, terrible yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, terrible. Uh, they'll be in there. I terrible. Mean, I think they've brilliant there. Yeah. See, the last, like, three or four years, maybe you guys don't notice it because, I mean, what, Chelsea won the league four years ago, but maybe you guys don't notice it because you guys play the best football and that's all you're probably really watching. But the people that contend for the Champions League, it's just gone to shit like it's the worst oh, I've yeah. ever well, seen in this my life season, this season was the worst I've seen no 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 last season was when it was Arsenal Spurs and Chelsea oh yeah and all, nobody wanted all to win team, it yeah, yeah, yeah one team and I think Man United was stuck in there just yeah. one team needed to win one game and they That's kept true, on yeah. losing and Chelsea fucking snuck Spoken in there of, uh, disappointments at the weekend Leicester was gutted yeah uh, another yeah. penalty but how many penalties is that over the season? That's uh, 19, eight, 20. 18 20. or 19. Or uh, what, 20. No, it's 20. They beat Real Madrid's record in one season for 19, I think. How, so this is what I was saying. How do you have a penalty every other game? More than every... Like, it's you have a penalty... If, if What, there's 36 games in a season? Yeah? 38. 30, yeah, yeah, sorry, 38. You have more than um, half a game. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, every other game, sorry. And you win a penalty. Like the the that's this is another thing we're talking about. The refs. You got to know who the divers are. 
who who goes down who does who does what you know one second it, i'm just i'm just updating that 14 it wasn't 14 man united set new premier league record for most penalties awarded in a season with 14 i want to say if you include the cup games it's yeah. nine, it's 19 okay. it's I, I remember seeing something um a few months back about yeah. four weeks back about 18 penalties yeah yeah so i want to say that that's just right, premier so, league yeah all right so, so 14. It's more than 38 games though but 14 so yeah. All right. That's then. exactly one every other game, though. Fourteen, is. Oh no, no, no. No, that's twenty-eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's like one. Yeah. That's drunk math. Yeah. That's yeah, like almost one every. Just below one every three. Yeah, one, yeah, one, one every three. Yeah. Just below. But yeah, it's um. Still, even so, that's that's. That's shocking. what. Yeah, I remember. I was telling you, I saw some hey. something on the Man United game that was coming up uh, against Leicester, and they were like. Oh, before the game, they've confirmed that uh, Bruno Fernandes has taken both penalties, or something <laughs> like that. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's it's terrible. I can't believe they finished third. Scary. I can because no, of how I, I bad everything is going man. on. I'm I'm gutted enough over the weekend, mate. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. And I it mean, was a good moment when Michael Oliver was referee in the West Ham Villa game as well. Yeah. Wasn't I, a good one. I think Chelsea will be really competitive next season, though. I mean, the the players that they've signed, they've made some good deals, you know. And we're, we're gonna have one of the best attacking forces on the planet, I think. But our defense is one of the worst. That that reminds me, though. So Vertonghen has left um, Spurs. Now, yeah. to me, he's still Premier League material. Yeah, that's weird. Like if he's going on a free. I mean, I would take him at City. I know he's left. He's he's left footed. Yeah, I'd take him at Chelsea. Is that his, what is he now? Thirty three. Thirty three. Yeah, but you take him for free on one I'd or take two him, seasons. I'd take know? him and start him at Chelsea every day of the week. I'd start him at Arsenal. I'd start him at City. For I think what, he, what's going on now? Yeah. Um, As a centre back, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, he's to be played, fair, looked okay. He has, yeah. Yeah, and he's probably yeah, leaving he, soon he, as well. He's, I mean, he's always been solid though, hasn't he? I think, I think so. him and Sanchez aren't bad. Yeah. I wouldn't play Eric Dyer if you if he was the last player. Sanchez, no. Uh, Sanchez, the Colombian. Yeah, yeah. He's, I think he's I one think of my City, favorite le- City um, the, centre backs. City the, had the, the chance plan. to buy Alderweireld for like thirty million or something stupid last season. Stoke. No, no, no. Alderweireld from, from Tottenham. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and I don't know what happened. I think the Colombian what Sanchez about? is one of the best in the league. Yeah. And did that Harry Kane score again? Um, Spurs. he did. A, yeah, Crystal Palace. Did he? Yeah, he he's, he's been on a hot streak, hasn't he? Yeah, since we said he forgot how to... Yeah. yeah, yeah, he scored, yeah. Yeah, so obviously Mourinho's been listening and he adjusted his system. You know what, I'm, I'm, I'm not too bothered about that because, you know, the people that said he couldn't score goals in a Mourinho team and mm-hmm. Mourinho said he could. <laughs> yeah, <Don't laughs> <wrong. laughs> No, you know, I don't mind Mourinho, do I? No. I don't mind him. I like him in the Premier League. I yeah, I, I agree. He definitely I mean, brings the, him, you know, he brings like a Hollywood side to it. You know, Mourinho does. Yeah, yeah to where well, the so cameras next, always next on. Next season him. we've got Bielsa as well, which is more sort of drama TV time, isn't it? Hey, mate, there's a good video on him if you look for it. Have, it. have a look at it about the people talking about him when he when he was in Argentina early. He was like, um, he was like Pep. Pep talks about him as well. Really, his different ways. Um, to training and fitness levels and yeah. and expressing yourself and have a look at I think it's on YouTube yeah have hopefully, it's hopefully it doesn't end up like a sorry situation I tell you who played for yeah. him Pochettino Pochettino talks about him he oh, played really? for still you know, one of my favourite managers with new new old boys I think it was yeah new I think it, it is yeah. that's Tevez's his old team isn't it new yeah. old boys have a, look, have a look at it though I mean it's going to be interesting and, and the funny thing for me was when he got caught he was spying yeah was it Chelsea oh no it was Derby yeah it yeah, was Derby yeah, yeah. Derby because Frank was the manager there yeah, yeah. Frank Lampard yeah yeah and he admitted yeah. it said yeah I was <laughs> yeah I don't have to do any, any law against it but yeah Frank was saying it was unprofessional you know yeah I mean it is said, yeah, I was fine I need to know as much as I can about my opposition <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a funny one so he's, got, he's going to be an interesting character yeah his interviews aren't, but no. But him, him and Mourinho, I think is going to be a good one. I think Leeds will put up a fight. You know, I think. I hope they do. I mean, he, they, there's talk about them fighting for Champions League spots, but obviously that's well, going to take time. I've seen time. a few games, yeah. mate. I've seen a few games in the Championship this season. You know, obviously, congratulations to Slavs. 
Uh-huh. Big Slav and Julian at West Brom. Really happy for them. I text them both the next day um, to congratulate them. Yeah. And I'm sure when I get home, I'll get to go and see a game. But um, even them, they tried, to throw it away. they tried to throw it away drawing their own to QPR in the last game. Thankfully, Brentford lost to the, well, I think Barnes were second to bottom or third to bottom. Yeah. They ended up going to Brentford and winning on the last day. So, uh, I've seen a few games, and, and none of the teams look particularly strong to me. Yeah, I, I do. I, I I completely agree. But I did want to say I've seen. I mean, quite a handful of championship games this season, from what I could get over here, and I think the championship level has um, advanced. Um, I think it's better than what it has been the last couple of years. But I still don't think there's going to be a team that are going to come in. Yeah. I mean, Sheffield United surprised me. Never yeah, mind what Leicester well, did, you know. Like, she- I- yeah, Sh- Sheffield United, like they. What I love about their story this season is they played exact Bournemouth the exact same well. way that they played in the Championship. Fulham tried to do the same thing the season before they came up last. Yeah, and they it it just didn't work. You know, their style of play. Well, that, yeah, Sheffield United came in with their overlapping centre backs, which yeah. I mean, again, I talk about these centre backs a lot because I just think it's incredible the way they do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I, sorry, mate. I tell you what, the best story was at the championship. Mickey Marsh, assistant manager at Swansea. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you see what happened to them? Didn't they? Did you, they, they beat uh, Forest, um, Forest, Forest. Forest were sixth, three points ahead of them. Yeah. I think they were six, five or six goals better goal difference. Yeah. So Forest had to lose. Swansea had to win to start with. Forest were at home against Stoke, one of the lower teams. Swansea were away at Reading, I think. And Swansea won four one at Reading and Forest lost four one at home. Yeah. Stoke. And that was the goal difference exactly. Yeah. And they both scored. Stoke got their fourth goal and Swansea got their fourth goal both in the ninetieth minute. Mm. I mean did, did yeah. you see Martin, as you said on the text? That's how we planned it. Yeah. <laughs> did you see yeah. um, they played uh, Cardiff, didn't they? And beat them 2-0. Fulham did. Oh, wait. We were just talking about Swansea. Talking about Not, Swansea. Yeah, yeah, Swansea beat Brenton. Sorry, I don't have on my phone. Brentford. Swansea beat... Yeah, yeah. And I've never wanted a team to not win so much in my life. Who, With Swansea? Yeah, the diving. The... Oh. Yeah. But you didn't know Marsh was assistant, did you? Yeah, I mean, I guess that kind of sways it, but I, it's one. I was I was just showing Jordan. One of them actually got booked for diving, which I haven't seen in a really long time. And all right, okay. Yeah, right. It's something to be they excited need to, they about. Need, yeah, they, they need to promote that ref to the Premier League. Yeah, right. Well, they're um, probably just. But the thing is, two people. Just, was, what's up? They fancy themselves to come up, so they're just probably getting used to what they're going to do next season. Yeah. Yeah. The diving all over. Yeah, the yeah. The see, that's what that's what I hate because I've always um, associated the championship with like a Premier League yeah, but but, English football. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Like not as good skill wise, but at least they don't go and dive in that. Yeah. But did you see? Uh, did you see Rudiger? Oh, uh, don't. Did don't, you see him? Don't talk about him. Did you see him fall down when him and Ed yeah. was pushing away from him to go back throwing? Did. Yeah. Did you see him and Ed though? Just as bad, you know. Was he? I didn't know, mate. Yeah. No. Yeah. Chelsea on. I was it only was... looking at Chelsea once. Yeah. It, yeah they, were, they were just as bad as Giroud's each other. goal. How could he run round the other side of him? Giroud's goal. I, I don't know. It was it Connor Cody? Uh, was it a scouse lad, Connor Cody? Yeah, that's the, what, the on, captain, right? Yeah. yeah. And he sort of had to go round again, the defender, to get to the ball first. You know, remember it? Yeah. I mean, it was weird. Yeah, um, it was one of those last games of the seasons where, um, I mean, selfishly, I mean, we all care about all the teams. You know, there's no team that uh, that. I mean, maybe you guys with Chelsea that you don't really care about, but I, I mean, I think no, I want all... to Chelsea, in, mate. I want Chelsea, in for yeah, you. especially over, especially when it comes to I know Man United. United. Yeah, oh, okay, um, fair enough. But there is like five. Pretty much five teams, one fourth of the league that we want to be in certain positions, and it's just terrible. It comes to the last day, everything was working out. You know, I mean, well, Arsenal were a little shaky at the end, but you know, Chelsea go two 0 up, yeah, half time. 
Arsenal are dominating for most of the game. Three 0 yeah, three nil. And all it all it took was just West Ham. Yeah, that was it. it would have been it. And Leicester. Well, yeah, um, but I mean, yeah. if Chelsea won, yeah, about, if Chelsea yeah. didn't, if if Chelsea lost, yeah. then I would have, we would have had to have Leicester. But I wanted yeah. Leicester either way. What about um? What about Kevin De Bruyne equaling Thierry Henry's assist record? Mate, mate, he he is. I mean, we said it before. He's. I think he's. And Connor will probably still say Messi, but I still think he's the best all-round footballer what? in the world. Yeah, Messi's head and shoulders above anyone. No, De Bruyne is the best all-round footballer okay. in the world. Tell me, tell me something that De Bruyne can do that Messi can't. It's vision Defend. and it's defending. Vision. What, how can you say that when you're comparing a, a midfielder to a striker? You see, we're saying all I round. Think, I think, look, Messi, I, know. Messi, I think he plays more longer passes than Messi. The, Messi couldn't play those passes. Messi wouldn't see uh, those passes. Uh, uh, you, or he couldn't, or he couldn't, ex- he couldn't execute those, he couldn't execute those passes. You're lying to yourself. No, First of all, Messi, Messi, Messi could execute... He could put a free kick in the top corner from 35 yards. Yeah, yeah Messi can execute anything, first of all. Don't, don't take that well, away from... he doesn't. From, it if anything, it has to be the vision. And even when you, I'm, I promise you, look at a YouTube compilation of Messi's passes. You'll honestly sit there and be like, "Oh, hold on, I don't think De Bruyne could have done that." No, De Bruyne can. Do, I'm not De trying to take it. Anything. I'm not trying to take any. I'm, I, I mean, I'll say it. I think De Bruyne is finally better than Hazard. He, he's been better than Hazard. Maybe for like two years. Easily he's been, been better than. Maybe Hazard. Maybe for two years he's been better than Hazard. Okay, but he wasn't before then. Is that as long? Is that how long it's been since he scored the goal? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but I'm not saying Messi can do everything De Bruyne can do, but he can do like 90 percent of it. Yeah, but that means De Bruyne is better. No, he can do 90 percent of what De Bruyne does. De Bruyne could probably do like 40 percent of what Messi does. All right, look, we you know we we have opinions. We could go on all. We have all wrong day. opinions. Over they here. do they do different things. I'm just saying right now at this point. Yeah, I think the best all round footballer in the world. Yeah, I completely and agree. Season probably, but. Did you see? Um, he's yeah. only got better, he's and he's only, only got... he's only gonna get better as well because he's still got to beat that Henri record, and I think he will. See, give I'll, him I'll a say, season or two. I'll, I'll give you this. I know the different players, but they play in a very similar like position with all the formations that have changed. And as much as I love him, I think um, De Bruyne is the closest you'll ever get to Burkamp, if not maybe better. Better defensively, though. All right. The fe- Different right. position, bro. yeah, yeah, I know, but I mean, it's similar considering what they do, you know. I think Bergkamp played a bit more with his back to goal, you know. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, but that's why I'm favouring Bergkamp right. in that yeah. scenario. But back then, you didn't have his great. Yeah, like, imagine Bergkamp playing for mean, Pep, you know. I think what you mean, yeah. is he stood out in a similar way. You know what I mean? He, 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 he did, was back, he, he, his skill level and his, you know, his game itself. Yeah, he's on a par. Like you know, you you always say you always say how um, it's easy for the fans, especially in the nosebleeds or the people um, that are watching it on telly. They're like, "How didn't he see this pass?" And then once you get down to the pitch level, yeah, you, yeah. there's no way you're gonna see but that. De Bruyne, sees him. De Bruyne yeah. and Burkamp yeah. and even Messi see passes that you don't even see on the yeah. television. Yeah, and he's it's like he's manipulating people to go one way so he can. Yeah, I also guarantee you. That he sees twice as much as you think he does. Oh, maybe yeah. even more. And, and he, it doesn't, and he doesn't go doesn't, because yeah. the person hasn't done it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean? Yeah, definitely. Well, that's that's good. that's yeah. why whenever you notice um, De Bruyne setting up goals for Stone, he never celebrates because I think he thinks like fifty percent of the time it's not going in. So he probably doesn't get his hopes up. He's played a great ball, and sometimes you see him, and he's like, "Oh shit, I see Stone and." I can't. I think I'll play. I, I could play a ball for him to be one on one with the keeper right now. How can you right say now. that though? When when Sterling was City's top scorer, this because season. they're all they're all weird goals. You can't say they're not. They're all weird goals. Like yeah, that one goal, um, the one he scored the game before, where he's he wasn't expecting it. It's kind of hit his shin. He's kind of I don't know if he's tried to dodge out the way, but he's controlled it. It stayed in front of him. It's hit his shin while I think sorry while someone's crossing it into the box and he smashed it into the top corner. And yeah, he, there's Watford. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, he's good at coming in, cutting inside, and killing it into that post. But yeah. all, all the rest of his goals are hitting him on the shin, or right place, or right when time. He's got his face on the floor, and it hits him in the back of the head and trickles in. You know, like a- anyway. right place, right time. It's not like he's Chicharito or Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. 
You know, he doesn't he's better, know. He's better than Chicharito. I don't know. He doesn't know where to. I don't think he's smart in the Chicharito. I think he's better than Chicharito. I think looking down, looking down the Golden Boot list, I don't remember seeing any Chelsea players on there. No, I don't know how many seasons. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not defending Chelsea right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm defending <laughs> football as a whole. I'm, I'm, defend, like I'm just, defending De Bruyne just right now. To go the leading goal scorers. Yeah, he didn't get leading goal <laughs> scorer, did he? You know, for City though. Well, that's, a, that's that's that was his hundredth goal, wasn't it? Yeah, it can't be doing too bad. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, if you look, if you go back on, that's the thing. You can't go back 20, 30 years and just look at stats. Be like, oh, this person was that good because of that. Yeah, but it's cons- he's consistent with it. It's not just like one season where he scored. You know, yeah, I know. He's also in Pep system where everyone scores. Yeah, but you know? if you put, I don't know, Mason Mount in that system, or he scores, he's not gonna he get scores. that. He's not gonna get those goals. He's not gonna get. St- I mean, Stones lightning as well. Yeah. Stone. Well, he's, gonna get, he's not going to get signed in the first place. All right, Stone, if, you put, all right, if you put Pulisic in that in that system, he's not going to get the goal Sterling gets. He'll probably get more. No, he wouldn't. Yeah. No. I, I, Stone, He'd probably uh, get Pulisic, as many penalties. Pulisic is a better player than Stone. What are you talking well, about? Talking about the diving of Sterling? Pulisic dives all, like crazy. I bet you 80% of your all penalties right, were Sterling right, diving. Right. Children, calm down. Sterling didn't take the penalty, so I, I'm not saying, I'm not so saying, how could that be it? I know, but that's because someone else like Aguero. What have we got, George? What's on your Gunnigan. list? So I just wanted to say, De Bruyne came out and said, he, he said, he, what do you mean uh, drawing against Thierry Henry equaling the record? Because he was counting, apparently, um, not apparently, but the, the goal he set up for Sterling against Arsenal, uh, yeah. the two of them in the first game of the season, he got those taken away from him. Where The one where David Luiz messed up, fine i can understand that assist maybe doesn't account but the one where he's played it square across to sterling and it took a deflection and sterling's knocked it in they didn't they didn't count that either um and they should have counted that so de bruyne said he'd already won it in his mind it didn't matter i'm sure there was one where he put sterling through recently and it ended up being an own goal sterling's shot was going wide yeah it sounds about right <laughs> Oh, was yeah, that right? probably, but Did that wasn't the one that yeah that wasn't the one that that does sa- that sounds really familiar yeah. actually yeah and it was supposed to be a stolen hat trick, right? It was a hat trick, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But yeah, I mean, basically, he's he's created the most chances um, in open play in the Premier League. But did he go back to Henri's season, watch all of it, and see if he got any disallowed assists? You know, I'm sure he didn't. I'm sure he didn't go back and watch it. But I'm sure the rules back then were way more lax with no VAR and all that yeah. shit. So it's funny because you know? uh, he did assisting. Um, he was the assistant coach at Belgium, wasn't he? Yeah. And there's like I think there's interviews of like De Bruyne or Henri saying that like yeah De Bruyne would come up to him during training for Belgium and be like I'm beating you yeah right yeah here. so yeah. it's probably just a bit of banter I'm sure yeah. I mean De Bruyne is such a team player uh, yeah I don't and then think Henri, he really... Henri came back and was like well you need to score 24 goals as well exactly yeah the 21 or however many as yeah it was but yeah I mean e- either way so we've got Edison with the Golden Glove we've got De Bruyne with the the Playmaker Award the most assists this when, season when do they do the young players. Uh, that Boy. should all be coming out soon. Cause I see Foden win that. If Grealish wins that, I'm. <laughs> I'm no, Grealish won't win it. I, I'm out for a while. Young players. I think 24 is too old for the young player, isn't it? Is Foden 24? Oh, Foden. I thought you said Grealish. Oh, Grealish is 24. I did. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Foden, that makes it. That makes him worse in my eyes. I thought Grealish. Like, you know, was the, like the thing is, that, like we're actually talking now about he's going to be leaving Foden now for the Real Madrid game. Yeah, I know. He's come in and done so well, you know. Well, that's the thing. Since I, the pandemic I could, started. I, yeah. I mean, the not since it came back. He'll definitely play a part. May, I don't. I don't. I don't think he'll start. I don't think he'll start no. But he'll play a part. You know that yeah. high energy. That it's, high energy is important subs for him. In the Champions League still. Right? Oh, I don't even know actually. They haven't came out and said. They've anything? said. I know. I know. I, so, so um, they've come out and said they can use five subs next season, and UEFA said no. But I don't know about the end of this tournament. If they, if. If they do five subs, I bet you Pep has this plan to where he starts out whoever he starts, and mm-hmm. the people coming in are just going to be just as important. Like I bet you he brings in if he can bring in five subs, he'll bring in like Foden, Gundogan, and um, maybe even Rodri if he doesn't start. Yeah, and just like let's, let's shore up. Let's hope whoever he brings on, he's bringing them on to rest some players. That'd be nice. Sunday. Yeah, he, I so know. That's going to be a sign if they get through, isn't it? It's yeah. What, 12 days is it and Aguero uh, wouldn't August be back August 7th so yeah no it's going to be over 12 days oh over 12 days yeah, yeah. Aguero wouldn't be back even for the final no 
So, so that's the weird thing. Pep said everyone's going to be fit for the Real Madrid game, including oh, yeah, including said, Aguero, yeah, and then he yeah. came out today and said Pep's not uh, Aguero's not going to be fit. So, yeah, he probably meant like he probably already cast the Aguero aside when he said that. Like, yeah, but he said all players are going to be fit. So I don't know. I mean, maybe it was just you know misunderstood yeah. by somebody. Not me, but <laughs> I definitely read that Pep said all players are going to be fit. So, uh, but yeah, he said he's not. You know, he wouldn't be up to speed anyway. And I think. Regardless, he's he's going to give Jesus a chance uh, again. I think against Madrid, Pep's looking for that high energy, that 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 full on pressing at the front, which Aguero doesn't quite do anymore. Yeah, not but, discounting uh, Aguero's talents in uh, in other places. Yeah, like we said previously, he did more than anyone back in his. Yeah, uh, I still think a shaky Aguero is better than a a full fit Jesus. Maybe it, it depends about though. The pressing. Yeah, the pressing. But there yeah. you go. That's talking about you well, having look, less he- of the ball, and they're supposed to be coming at you. Yeah, you know? yeah, but if he is fit, if he is fit, you got to give him twenty minutes or something. Oh yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. like one hundred percent. Because yeah. you need to get, give him the sharpness for the games after, you know. Yeah, at least that, and then they need to test them out as well. Yeah, because not least when you come back from an injury, you've got to push yourself to know that it's going to be a hundred percent. Right. But there's, always that, there's always that doubt in your mind. Yeah, because you don't want to be brought on and I then push myself. It's going to go again, or it's not going to be right. Yeah. There's, what did he, what did he do? Behind. He went a weird way, didn't he? It was, it was he went, knee, yeah. he went and stayed on, didn't he? And then we thought it was, it was his, because of a penalty or something. Yeah, it was his knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I mean, uh, it's gonna be nervy. One good thing, you know, if I, I can't remember the the web of the games, but Mbappe's out for a little bit. He's definitely out for the quarterfinal. Um, so I, I don't fear them anyway, mate. They're, they're like, they're like the show pony. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're good to look at, but never quite. They'll never yeah. quite go back. They've got some good players. He needs to leave Mbappe. I think he's one of the best players on the planet. He needs, yeah. He needs to leave the French. There's league. only one place he's going, mate. Barca. He does go. No, Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Mate. Real Madrid. Why not Barca? He's not. It's 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 a done deal with Real Madrid. Yeah. It's just a matter of when. What? Over who? Bale, Bale or Hazard? Bale, Bale doesn't play anymore. Exactly. I don't know how many Bale's times we have this better. this conversation. I'm not going to let him Bale's go. basically he's retired. Gonna, he's going to be in the PGA tour and I'm going to be like, <laughs> yeah. you know what? I Bale, still think he can get moved to Spurs yeah. again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bale's completely gone. He's sitting on his cash for two years, mate. Trust me. I don't know. Playing golf. He is. I, I think uh, the next three years have, have to be... For Bale, and yeah, you would play Mbappe over Bale anyway if Bale was fit. Mate, Bale's retired. Yeah. yeah, he's retired. Trust me, he's got yeah. a big fat cigar and his flip flops and his and his robe and his cravat. That's so sad. Yeah, it is sad. Yeah, but he doesn't care. I mean, he might. Well, yeah, he might as well go to China and get a bigger paycheck. You know, not yeah. for football's sake. He could wear his robe full time then, even in the street. Yeah. <laughs> You think he scored the best Champions League final goal ever against Liverpool? I think that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I think Zidane's. A no, 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 no. The left foot volley. Yeah, that's not better than Bale's. I think the way Bale came on as a sub and scored it, and it had just to, like... he had to check out because it was a deflection as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh no, it wasn't. I'm thinking of Rooney. So. No, that was Rooney against yeah, City. Yeah, Marcelo cut back with his right foot. Yeah, and um. It's it's better than Zidane's. Yeah. Any anyway, I hope. Like Dag Lees is in '77 against Bruges at Wembley. Yeah, I, I gotta see Look that again. I know, I know, I've first, seen it. It was the first time I seen that little dink over the keeper. Mm. And to win it, to win a European Cup final as well. Yeah. Hey, Jordy, we were saying just before you got on, I think it's time we switch them pictures behind you and push, oh, yeah. put the because I'm sure it fits better. Noble Bishop Aguero. What do you mean here? Yeah, yeah, yeah we was talking about the, <laughs> having that just because it's signed. Yeah, I mean, the camera can't see the top three, but we've posted pictures. Yeah, it's funny because Sane's up there. I think, um, yeah, I mean, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a definite no. <laughs> we've just got to switch them around anyway without you knowing. Yeah. When you go to the toilet again. I'm not, I'm not completely against it. We can rotate them and, no. you know, I mean, they're not... <laughs> You've got the Wembley one now, Sneaker, haven't you? Sneakers all the You've got, the, Gillingham, you've got the, the Wembley Gillingham one Hasselbank. as well. Now. Yeah, that one, that one, I mean, you you sent it up without signing it, so... I know. Yeah. 
Oh, is this fault? Ask him to remind me. Yeah, so it's two original uh, shirts. Did you, or did you ask someone else to remind you to remind me? No. Because I, no, didn't, I didn't I didn't get reminded. We'll post okay. pictures once we've got them, but it's two original shirts. Um, two, it's, worn, two of the worn two, shirts. Went, yeah. yeah. Mine and the Gillingham one, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to frame those, but... Yeah, see, it wasn't that Somebody didn't sign their own shirt. That, it wasn't that important when I got to, like, I was just filling my gas up. When I got to Orlando, two, two and a half hours away from your place, when I noticed, like, oh, he didn't no, sign no, this. he just didn't want to ask for your autograph. Yeah. It's a little right. bit weird. It's a little bit weird signing your own shirt, though, you know, especially if you're keeping it yourself. Yeah, but it looks good because, like, Patty signed his, and then... Oh, no, no, don't get me wrong. It's the right thing to do because I know you're framing it, but... Normally, when you keep your own shares, you don't. Oh, uh, you, you're one, yeah, but you're, you're not one keeping to it. Talk. You're giving it. You're giving it to me. You're one to talk. <laughs> you used to have those little. Um, <laughs> they claimed that look. <laughs> you used to have those cards with just your face on, and sometimes you would sign them and give it to our friends. <laughs> give them to us. Yeah, give them to us. And be like, hey, you can give these to all your friends. <laughs> Show your friends who your dad is. Yeah. <laughs> and we we're like, okay, we walk out and throw them in the bin. Lying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see I, don't, the, I don't remember You see that. the bin men with um, like 20 of them. It was pictures of me speedos by the swimming pool. Left yeah, there. right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so be, beyond the Champions League, again, I don't want to go too far past Madrid with City because I think I still think there's work to do there. I mean, they're a, Real Madrid are solid, you know, but I mean, so are City. So we'll see what happens. But um, City are actually favourites to win the 2020-21 season. 2020-21 season. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is it, right yeah. 2020-2021. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sounds uh, weird. Yeah, so City of have, fa- have you got an account on your phone? Have you got a betting account? Yeah. Yeah. And you can stick the money on for us. The money we're supposed to pay him, we can actually put Just, it on yeah. City winning instead. All right, but then I get all the winnings then. Well, you can give us a percentage, okay? Yeah, well, that's up to Why don't we just put our own money on? No, yeah. I didn't forget we're, to start. Not only did I forget to sign a share, I forgot to give you your tenner. <laughs> I, I took it out of your wallet, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's, st- that's still big. I think, I think you paid me in beers when I was down there anyway, so... I think I did, yeah, mate. I always do. Yeah. Well, 20 Cronenbergs is more than a tenner. <laughs> Depends where it's Depends important Depends where you're from. drinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who made Guy went, God, he isn't half like you when he's had a beer. He doesn't <laughs> show up. Yeah. You went talking to everyone, mate, didn't you? I don't. I don't know. Complete strangers. <laughs> I don't remember. Complete strangers. Yeah. That's funny. But yeah. So and then a, a few a few other small things. Le- Leighton Baines retired. Not that that's a small thing at all. But he, Leighton Baines retired out of nowhere. What really. A what a fella, mate. Top man, by the way. No yeah. Baines since he was when I was training at Wigan. We used to give him a lift then, give him a ride then. Yeah. When he was 16, 15, 16. They tell us stories, me and Jeff Brandon, about nicking cars and stuff. Yeah. Little scallywag he was. It's kind great of... player, though. Great servant to Everton. Yeah. Great left foot. And oh, England. Always, yeah. yeah. Always been one of my favourite left backs. Great left foot, mate. Ever, yeah. And still didn't look out of place in the game. No, I mean, he's been England's best left back for... I know he, I know he retired from international it's football. Ashley Cole. Yeah. I mean, Shaw wasn't anywhere near him, was he? And then he we had, had the potential, didn't he? Yeah. He got fat and broke his legs. Broke I'd have Benzie any day, mate. Ashley Cole was more speed yeah. than anything. Yeah. I think Benzie was better footballer, mate. Ben, yeah, Benz was technically gifted, better wasn't he? Yeah. Technically yeah. gifted, yeah. Yeah. I'm just surprised. I mean, how, I'm just looking up how old Baines is. 35. I mean, it just seemed out of nowhere, you know? Yeah. But I, I would see, what's he been injury prone? Um, he, did, he did have a couple of injuries, I think, and he was out for a while and then. I think the different managers sort of put in the younger players. You know, the, I mean the left back now. What, Coleman, Dean, yeah, Dean. He Coleman seems good. Right oh. well, like, you know, the left back they have now. Look Dean, at Dean. Dean. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dean, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's good. Good left back. He's as well. good. Yeah. Well, there you go. Like, why why can't you go to a lower Premier League? I mean, how much lower can you get right now? What than Everton? Yeah. Um, I mean, they didn't finish that low. What twelve? Yeah, there's a few. There's a All few. All right, yeah, but <laughs> I could rattle them off for you now. Um, what about um, what about Zaha? I mean, I, I hate you know. There's another Coutinho. Uh, so I, I don't want to talk about Coutinho, Coutinho at really all because him. I see Coutinho's yeah. name in every headline. Supposedly Leicester, Spurs, Arsenal, and City are looking for a loan deal. Whatever. Um, but 
Um, uh, I just Zaha. drew a blank. Zaha, Zaha yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kicking in. Yeah, so Zaha, again, every transfer window, it's like he's going. Hodgson said he thinks he's going. Like, I don't think Hodgson where does he go? know where the sky is, <laughs> to be fair. So I can't trust him. I wouldn't take him right now. No? I wouldn't take him. Would no. you take him at West Ham? Is, well, yeah, yeah, but that's not... Yeah, yeah. That's not... Yeah, no, of course you would. But no, you're th- you're football. thinking like the likes of Arsenal, Spurs, Chelsea, right? I mean, Arsenal right now we could he could go to, but he's not getting any bigger than that. No, no, no. Yeah, I agree. He's not any bigger than that? I, I think like sort of, three seasons ago. I don't think he play at Arsenal like, though. He's, he's too erratic, too inconsistent. Yeah, he'll he's, get you. He'll get you penalties with these refs though. Yeah, well, Arsenal you know, don't. Arsenal don't need him. I think Arsenal need everything they can get. They're looking at their forwards, Pepe, Lacazette, and Aubameyang, is he going to play against? And even Pepe's, Saka's been doing well. I, know he's I, I love I love Saka so much. Yeah, um, Pepe's so I like inconsistent. Pepe. I I really do, but he's either amazing or he's just you don't even know he's on the pitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know where. I even Tottenham came to me head down for Zaha, but well, Zaha. I don't think- he was gone to Everton, wasn't he, basically? He had one foot out the door last season. I'll tell you what, a couple of years ago, do you remember Bolassi? Yeah, Bolassi. Oh. Yannick Bolassi, Bolassi, yeah. Oh, yeah. Better than Zaha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Went to Everton and had a bad time, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, didn't he go from Palace? Palace to Everton? Palace, yeah. And I, st- now, I, I still, think he's in Turkey or something yeah, now. I, yeah, it, yeah, I still he's follow he's him, looking, yeah. I heard something about he was looking to come back, but... Yeah. Might be a bit late for him. Yeah, he, lo- he looks he's, old now. Yeah. I thought he was better than Zaha at that time. Oh, yeah, and Andrew Andrew Townsend better than Zaha at that time. Um, they had a few. Um, who's the Who's the one that wiped his uh, wiped his butt at City? Remember where, oh, um, um, Jason? There was a song punching. Yeah, Jason punching. Yeah, he yeah. went he went yeah. out for a poo against uh, <laughs> like yeah. Fulham or someone, and he scored yeah. against City and like, had that he celebration. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Like you two doing this show? <laughs> yeah, no one, no one gets to see that. Yeah, <laughs> no, but you can pause it. <laughs> yeah, we've got edits. When you go, it's it's just left in. <laughs> so one thing I wanted to end on is something funny here. So apparently, um, Adama Traore's had issues with his shoulder being pulled out. Like what? Supposedly, after, from years, this is what the story is in the headlines. Supposedly, years after running through defenders, cause he's big and he's quick, isn't he? Like he's had yeah. an issue with his shoulder. So supposedly, I don't know how many games this has been going on for, but they've been oiling up his arms <laughs> before he comes on the pitch. Just look, listening. <laughs> <laughs> oiling you, his arms. Yeah. So <laughs> being a, a an ex nineties footballer, what do you think about that? <laughs> I do, I do know that there's people once you dislocate it and you do it more than once you come back it, it's easy to knock it out again you know oh yeah it, do, it does weaken and the tendons around it loosen a little bit and it does make it easier to to come out but I don't, I've never heard of that oiling up somebody it's supposed <laughs> slip between two defenders or something yeah supposedly it's if a defender grabs his arm so it, they can't like get, get gain any friction on it and they can't grab it I, and it I'll, slips right not, through I don't think there's anything wrong with that it's a bit ridiculous. It is, but I mean, if it works, if you want to be sticky the whole game, but it works. It does work. <laughs> it does work because it does go past people, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, but how how far does that go? You know, <laughs> every it's Premier like League dressing It's from? like the greased up death guy from Family yeah, Guy, yeah. and they can't catch the police. Everyone has a, every team has a bucket of like shea butter that yeah. they just dunk in. Yeah. That is it, a strange. It thing. gives it, it gives a new uh, definition to silky, doesn't it? <laughs> Slippery, slippery, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to end if, on if that. If it works, note. yeah, because no one should be grabbing your arm. Yeah, there you go. So if it works, you're stopping people. I mean, you kind of cheating, <clears throat> it, but not to the extent of people grabbing your grabbing your arms cheating more yeah. than you know. It's just it's, right, like so shav- got, it's like shaving your arms. We've got yeah. the Champions League to forget this disappointment of Bournemouth going down and looking forward to that starting. We've got the playoffs through the week, haven't we? Is it the championship playoffs? Yeah, they're already in. They're... Through the week. Yeah, it lo- yeah. It looks like uh, Fulham are playing Swansea. Then the FA Cup final on Saturday. It looks like Chelsea League. will be lifting that. And then Champions League. C- City play on August seventh. It's a Friday, which is strange, but see, that's but amazing. We still got. Pick for a good Friday, don't it? Yeah, we still got football. There's no, um, <clears throat> there's no law. Yeah. yeah. So then there'll be the rest of the Champions League. 
the tournament in Lisbon. It's one. Premier League starts on the twelfth. So. Premier League starts on the twelfth, and then we the the transfer window actually opened today. So okay. if there is any movement, it's going to have to happen quick. Yeah, Apparently, yeah. so what what I've read is, as far as City go, what I've read is that there's been a, a move agreed for Koulibaly. I know we've been talking about him. Um, I thought he 62, denied it. 60, he did, but £62 million pounds is the number that's being thrown around. Apparently, that's been agreed between Napoli and City. And Just then, again. Yeah, and then Ferran Torres from uh, Valencia, supposedly between 30 and €40 million. Euros. Supposedly, the deal's been... Done. So I don't know. I can't. I can't comment on that because I don't really know him. So yeah, like I said last time, I've only seen highlights of him. Um, so yeah. we'll just well, have to see. That, that's the thing. You could be amazing and come to the Premier League and be dog yeah. shit. So, but at least we've got Pep, you know, behind him. So at least he'll. We. Yeah, I mean, you, know, players, you know, you know, you know, Pep would get the best out of him. Trust, trust his judgment, eh? Yeah. Depending on how much say he's adding it you know but see I hate that I, I'm in that boat because e- even if you didn't play for City I, I still think I would have a soft spot for them to where I'd be like well I, I have to watch them play you know because you see yeah. something new every time Yeah, not from the players but from the system you know mm-hmm. and, and then sometimes from the players like De Bruyne like yeah. probably scored the goal of the season in my opinion uh, the last game of the season yeah but yeah, we've got we've still got a good few weeks of football, and then we've got a good season, and, and then it starts the, back, yeah. and then Euros, and then talk about my eh? Euros, yeah. and then a year off, and then World Cup. Yeah, well, the Euros, it's and then the next, the next season, and then World Cup. Yeah. yeah, yeah, year off. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to the next podcast having me share in the middle of them two. <laughs> yeah, we'll, just, just we'll do a me. vote. <laughs> we'll do a vote if you deserve. No, that's okay. That's yeah. fine. that's fine. Yeah, I mean it's. It's our last name as well. I'm telling you, this is how it starts. And then Zola and Hasselbank start creeping in here. That's how you... At least you can wear, you can wear your lead shirt, mate, when next season starts. See, here's, the, here's that's, the thing. That's the thing. He's already been wearing his lead shirt. Here's the thing, though. Then it's two West Ham, one City, isn't it? But, but it, lo- city. It, it looks like City colours. Oh, no. it's a, Yeah, City colours. Yeah, so it's a bit of both. It's West Ham away, isn't it? The Nobs is testimonial one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. We'll switch. We'll switch them around. We'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll just. We'll have a talk about it. <laughs> we'll have a meeting once. We, once you get off the phone. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll come up for the Champions League anyway, so I'll do it myself if you're happy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it sounds good. And I'll sign the shirt. Yeah. Maybe we don't want you to sign it anymore. Yeah. Right. The time's passed. It's in the. All bank. right, guys. <laughs> Twenty dollars for it, mate. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening, guys. Make sure you go check out fivepintsin.com. Uh, sign up for the email newsletter so you can get alerted when new new episodes came out. We actually did this is uh, we did an extra episode on Saturday. If you didn't get a chance to listen to that, make sure you go back and listen to it. Um, we were, of course, talking about the games ahead, but we spoke about the games uh, last week as well and all the yeah, good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> there's a lot of diving that we covered in that episode. So. But yeah, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, we've actually got a shirt up on the fivepintsin.com slash shop page if you want to go check that out. We'll have a couple more designs up there hopefully soon. We've been working on some stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening, guys. And it's good having a beer, guys. Talk to you next week, guys. Cheers. Cheers.